you ever gone about stretching and saying, oh, you know, I need to stretch my hip flexors more, I need to stretch my hamstring more, I need to stretch my whatever more, right? But you stretch a lot, but you don't seem to get many results out of it. You stretch, but it doesn't seem to maintain. Well, the problem is when you stretch, that newfound range of motion you've created, it's quickly lost because you haven't taught your brain or your body how to control it. So let that sink in. Because when you're stretching, you're stretching out the muscle, but you haven't learned, you haven't taught your body how to control that range of motion, so it quickly just goes back to what it was, right? So doing a piriformis stretch like this, you can stretch it all you want. It can feel good and your hips will feel a little bit loose, but then what happens an hour or a day later, back to where you were. Right? So if you're really trying to create elongation or mobility from stretching, it's better to use a dynamic exercise that's a stretch and an activation drill so you can cement those range of motion changes. Okay? So a better strategy, for example, than just stretching this here, which is pretty easy though, is to use a modified pigeon stretch. So I'll go ahead and show you this. Reach! Hey, if you're liking these videos and this content, uh, shoot us a comment, let us know you like it and some any suggestions of what you'd like to see. Give us a little like, a subscribe, a heart, uh, you know, just follow us and we'll, 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 put out, we'll put out good stuff. Uh, make sure on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, the little bell, so you get notifications for when we make new awesome videos. So how to perform the modified pigeon activation stretch, whatever, um, that stretch activation drill. I'd call it the power pigeon just because you get more out of your pigeon stretch. So what is a pigeon stretch anyway? The yogis may know this, well they will, um, is essentially what you do is that same piriformis or hip stretch I did seated, but now you do it in a lying down position, I guess, like this here, and you sink into it. And here you really, really feel it in your hip. If you have some hip issues, you might get some pinching in the groin or whatever it may be. You don't have to sink as far, you can go a little higher. Well, this is great, but again, I'm just sinking into a stretch, so I temporarily elongate the muscles or the tissues around there. It doesn't stick. So how do we make it stick so we can get some mobility benefit over time? We turn to an active drill. So how to set this up? You'll start hands and knees, pick the leg you wanna stretch out or um, challenge or train. And then I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go with my left leg here, okay? So I'm gonna stick my right leg out here like this. I'm gonna pivot from my knee of the left leg inward um, to about like four o'clock. So if 12 is here, here's four. I'm just turning it inward. And then from here, what I'm gonna do is just lean back into that stretch, but here's the kicker. I'm gonna bring myself back forward by using the same muscles I'm stretching currently. So what I'm gonna do is propel myself forward, not with clawing with my hands or with my back leg here. I'm gonna think about using this knee. So I wanna imagine I'm pressing my knee or my shin down or shin pushing myself forward, right? So in a straight line, I'm coming back into the stretch and then I'm driving that shin down or knee down coming forward, nice and easy, breathing in the abdomen, slow and controlled, I feel the stretch, I drive that leg down, you should really feel that glute, the outside of the hip working, and repeat. If you wanna make it harder, you just move support. So hands, if you can do that, try the fingertips, maybe even try pinkies, or maybe you don't need it at all. You can control it on one leg, which it gets pretty challenging there. All right, to recap, what's the problem? Passive stretching doesn't work because you haven't learned how to control the newfound range of motion. What you should do instead, active stretching, going through the entire range of motion so those changes can stick. Why you should care? Because you actually get those mobility gains that you're trying to achieve from stretching that's not working, right? And what happens as a result? You actually get to use that newfound range of motion for any of your activities so you can do what you wanna do anything that you want. It could be better at yoga, jujitsu, golf, um, hockey, baseball, underwater basket weaving, um, <laughs> stuff that Mitch likes, anything else.